Good evening. Uh, just about seven o'clock here on the East Coast. I'm John once again playing a little bit of uh, Immaculate Grid. Going to try to shoot for that low rarity score. But, you know, if I find a way to work uh, an anecdote or something from my book, which is baseball's most fun frivolities, uh, I'll work it in. I've, I've found that that's, uh, you know, an interesting little way to uh, to uh, plug my book. So, um playing with y'all tonight um feel free to uh leave a comment or uh uh tell me how you did um bringing it up now and hitting refresh this is from yesterday and go all right so we got the red sox and we've got the yankees we've got the rays with the mariners 300 saves in a career and then Hall of Fame. Okay. These are some interesting ones. I am going to go for this one. I've got an all right one. Rest in peace. Gerald Williams. He's also a Milwaukee Brewer, which is how I'm familiar with him. He was taken by no, he was, you know what it was? He was traded to the Braves, then went to the Rays, but he started his career at the Yankees uh, before coming to the Brewers. I think I've got that order right. All right, so we got 1% on Gerald Williams. I think I've got a pretty good one here. This is one I just kind of happened upon one day. Kevin Mitchell, the 1989 uh, NL MVP, bounced around quite a bit, including with like A's and the Reds. This is after he won the MVP with the Giants. He was also on that 86 Mets championship team, but he bounced around quite a bit. Oh, that was really good. 0.05%. Gerald Williams all the way up here. Like 1% seems high for Gerald Williams, but I guess, I mean, the Rays are so new. Gerald Williams was like a close personal friend of Derek Jeter, which is, I think, how... Um, you know, maybe he has a, some people know about that. So uh, in any event, let's keep going here. Red Sox, Yankees, so many, so many good ones you could go with. Um, I, I want to say I came across, this is like yesterday. I, I, I went down a little bit of a, a rabbit hole because I was, I was stuck on goose Goslin and, Honey, Menish, and I think I would have gone one for two on those uh, in yesterday's game. But I went down rabbit hole and I was looking. I don't think it was those two, though. I think I was like, oh, wait, he played for both the Red Sox and Yankees. But um, yeah, it was uh, yeah, so, someone in the 20s. I'm sure there were lots of people in the 20s and 30s who would work. Um, let's try a more modern player who I don't think a lot of people would get, though. John Olerud, lock it in, 0.2%. That's a pretty good player, getting 0.2%. He uh, did, I think, his last two years with the Red Sox and Yankees. Um, obviously, he's better known with the Mariners, Mets, and Blue Jays, but um, I'll take that. And then, I'll be honest, 300 saves, I think that one's going to be tough to get a super low rarity score, especially lined up with the Rays. I have an answer. I think I have two answers, actually. But it's just going to be super... You know what would be a good one here? So I'm going to tell a story here, but then I'm, I don't have an answer for it. Raleigh Fingers was the first person to save 300 uh, games. Um. He never played in a game for the Boston Red Sox, so I don't want to be playing him here. But he was pictured with the Boston Red Sox. He was traded to the Boston Red Sox by the A's, um, I think around 76 or something, right before he goes to San Diego Padres. Uh, and it was just a salary dump by Charlie Finley. And so he's pictured. He's got like a picture and everything with the Boston Red Sox, handlebar, mustache, whole, whole shebang. Uh, but then the uh, commissioner of baseball uh, avoided the deal. He said it's not in the best interest of baseball for Finley to just be dumping salary <laughs> to the Red Sox. So avoided the deal and uh, fingers end up going San Diego and then to 
Milwaukee. Anyway, he won't work here. So, um, he also, I think, was traded to Milwaukee via St. Louis, but also never appeared in a game for the uh, Cardinals. Uh, some people that will work for the Red Sox are um, Jeff Reardon will work. Craig Campbell will work. Um, let's see. Papelbon will work. Lee Smith, I believe, ever so briefly played for the Red Sox. I'm going to go Reardon, though. I don't think anyone else during that, that approximate time. I don't think Doug Jones... Played for the uh played for the Red Sox. Bruce Suter didn't. Uh Gossage. Actually, did Gossage play like a year there at the end of his career with the Red Sox? When I worked there. I'm gonna go with Reardon. Two percent. All right. I was only I only came up with like five or so people who, who would have worked there. Uh, for the Tampa Bay Rays, I'm going to go Roberto Hernandez. I think Troy Percival will also work, but I think that might be it. Also, I'm missing like Troy Percival was on the 08 Rays team. Um, do I want to give up just like that? Well, let's see how Roberto Hernandez does. To clarify, this is the Roberto Hernandez I'm going with. This Roberto Hernandez played as Faso Carmona. And it uh, turns out that wasn't actually his real name. Uh, he had a, I think he finished top five in the Cy Young voting in 2007. That's that Roberto Hernandez. This is the Roberto Hernandez who was a closer for many years with the White Sox. And then the, uh, then the Rays went to the Royals after that. Half season with the Giants. So he's he's got a little bit of immaculate grid power. 11%. Okay. I there's gotta be someone other than Percival then. Um I don't know. I'll just I'll I'll just sort of dwell on that for a little bit. Unless Percival got a nine percent, but I don't think so. Um all right, Tampa Bay and Seattle. Uh I'll I'll go with an OG. Uh, Tampa Ray or Tampa Devil Ray, and that's Paul Sorrento, who had 30 home runs on that 97 NL West winning Mariners team. Um, before being uh, either expansion drafted or just ended up in uh, with the Tampa Devil Rays, and I guess left baseball shortly thereafter. 0.8% pictured with the Indians. Interesting. Hall of Fame. I'm going to go with 40 game winner Jack Chesbo. 0.2%. I went I went way deep. I think he won 40 games in like the 1904 season or something like that. Um, so I I just went way deep. Um Mariners Hall of Famers. These we should be able to list out. These we should be able to list out. Um, Ken Griffey Jr., Edgar Martinez, Randy Johnson. Those are the prominent ones. Um, man, Lee Smith again. I'm wondering, like, after this, I might check on Lee Smith. I think I, I'm, I'm remembering I have a lot of baseball cards of Lee Smith. Cubs, I know. Uh, Cardinals, I know. Yankees, for sure. Reds, for sure. But I'll bet there's more. I think that would have been... I, I kind of think he would have worked here. Um, But I don't know about Mariners. Um, Let's see here. Some other people who just sort of... What, what I'm trying to come up with is people who dropped in to Seattle. Um, who Gaylord Perry would work. Gaylord Perry would work. That might be the. Let 
Yeah, he was ever so briefly in Seattle. Trying to just like I, I'm just going some other Hall of Famers around that time, but um, like people in the '80s who showed up in Seattle for a season or two. But I think that's that's what I'll go with here, Gaylord Perry. Again, I think he'll still get like five, ten percent, two percent. All right. And then anyone with 300 saves in the Hall of Fame. Again, I think I can just list these people. Um, Mariano Rivera. I was at his Hall of Fame induction ceremony. Uh, Lee Smith. I was at his Hall of Fame induction ceremony. It was the same year. Lee Smith had the all-time saves record for like, I think 15 years or something. And uh, until it was broken by Hoffman and then Rivera. It was never in the Hall of Fame. Uh, until he was voted in by the Veterans Committee. He got to go in with Rivera. Uh, so you got Rivera, you got Smith, you got Hoffman. Uh, you don't yet have Wagner. You do have Raleigh Fingers. Um, you have Goose Gossage. Bruce Suter, who I believe, if memory is serving me correctly, I think Bruce Suter had exactly 300 saves on the dot. Um, and you have Dennis Eckersley. I believe that is everyone. Let's go with Bruce Suter. I think he had exactly 300 saves. Takes 4%. Rarity score of 22, half of those being Roberto Hernandez. No huge surprises here. Zanino, okay. Kimbrel rocks 28%. Fernando Rodney got to 300 saves. Okay. All right. He had a great year. 2012. Look up Fernando uh, Rodney's 2012 season with the Tampa Bay Rays. He had like a 0.6 ERA. Something absurd. Um. Anyway, let's see what the uh let's see what the actual numbers were. Ah, it's this again. Well, that's that's Percival, so we got him. That's Rodney. Oh man, keep Fernando Rodney in your back pocket. Look at this. Look at this. Look at all these teams. That closers in general are uh, are a gold mine here. Roberto Hernandez gets a bunch of teams, including the uh, camp. I meant a whole bunch more teams that I didn't even list. Yeah, the motto the motto here should be. Uh, Keep closers in your back pocket. All right, so who's this? 300 saves on the dot for the A's, the Mets, Angels. Jason Isringhausen with 300 saves on the dot. Just like Bruce Sutter, I think. Yep, Bruce Sutter had 300 saves on the dot. Um... Oh, Gossage was in Seattle. Okay. Henderson was in Seattle. I'd forgotten about that. I should have. Henderson's always in my back pocket. And then I got the rest of these. I guess they, they have him as a batter. Got it. And a whole bunch more for the Red Sox. I won't go through all those, but there were definitely ones I didn't think of. So, all right. Looks like Ray's. Raising uh, Mariners was the lowest uh, single one, but I'll take a 22, 22 with a, uh, the most recent expansion team. Uh, I, I think that's pretty good. So I'll take that. Um, and I'll be back at it tomorrow. Have a uh, wonderful night, everyone. Peace.